Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo Marçon. I'm one of the developers of LocalTwit and I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough on how to use our application. Well, first of all, just click on our icon in your iPhone and the application will load. Okay, of course, to send in vocal tweets, you have to be logged into Twitter. So that's just what we'll do now. We will log in with our username and password. And that's it, we're logged in. Uh, another information on passwords and usernames are stored in our application. We just use them to retrieve the access token from Twitter. So no problems on privacy around there. And here's the main screen. So the first thing you have to know is that you can edit the, the basic message that will be sent to Twitter before the link to the message itself. You just have to click here in the balloon and you can edit the, the default message to whatever you want as long as it doesn't exceed 100 characters. Okay, I'll have just leave the default message. Now we have to record our voice message and for doing that you just have to click on the record button in the bottom left side of the screen. Hello everyone, this is a test focal tweet. Clicking again on the button, it will make the, the recording to stop. Uh, here we can see that I've recorded five seconds of audio. And actually in our application you can record up to nine seconds of audio. Let's hear how, how it got recorded. Hello everyone, this is a test focal tweet. Clicking on the play button will play your message again, so you can hear it before you send it to Twitter. Of course, sending it to Twitter, you just have to click on the Twitter button. And that's pretty much it. The vocal tweet was sent, and now all your followers can see the message you wrote and the message you recorded and spoke. Uh, our application works in iPhones, but actually you can hear the message in any kind of device. Desktops, iPhones, iPads. Uh, it uses both HTML5 or Flash, so pretty much everyone can hear it. Uh, another information here on the information screen. Here you can log out from the, the current Twitter account, so you can log on with another username. Clicking here will display a message if you confirm that you want to log out with the current user. Click on yes. You will be sent back to the registration screen. Um, that's pretty much it for sending vocal tweets. Well, thank you very much for hearing and see you later.